The technology of blockchain is novel and exciting. The concept of decentralization introduced by blockchain has the potential to disrupt many industries. However, being new means there is a lot of exploration to be made. The blockchain technology has its problems which are being solved by various new cryptocurrencies that are created every other day. Solana is one such project that has the ambitious aim of solving three of the most notorious problems of the crypto space. Welcome to Coinly YouTube channel, your number one channel for tech and blockchain product education. Today's video is sponsored by the like button, so please hit that like button. In this video we would be looking into what Solana is, a brief history on the project, the problem they are trying to solve, some key features of Solana, its market potential and tokenomics. But before we continue, kindly take a second to subscribe to our channel, we put in a lot of effort for each video, and that will be a great way to support us. Now let's jump right into it. The Solana network is a public blockchain protocol that optimizes for scalability which means developers can create scalable dApps using the Solana network. This can then help dApps to circumvent around the performance bottlenecks. Solana uses a proof-of-history timestamp system. Therefore, it enables automatically ordered transactions. Working as an internal clock. Not just that, Solana also uses a proof-of-stake consensus algorithm for securing the network. Therefore, Solana allows for lower settlement times and offer lower transaction costs which then helps Solana to process more transactions per second as compared to other blockchains. Let us dig into a brief background on Solana. The Solana platform was founded back in 2017 by Anatoly Yakovenko. Yakovenko worked at Qualcomm before founding Solana. He has a wide range of experience with compression algorithms after his previous experience at Dropbox as a software engineer. Along with Eric Williams and Solana's CTO, Greg Fitzgerald, they created a new process of dealing with traditional throughput problems that existed in the Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchains. Some people even named Solana as the Ethereum killer, we will discuss that later. However, this team of founders hoped to create a trustless and distributed protocol that would allow more scalability. So, what problem is Solana trying to solve? Both Bitcoin and Ethereum, the first and second largest cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, have been instrumental to the blockchain industry's growth, pioneering many of the technology's contemporary use cases. However, they as well have shortcomings in certain areas. And scalability remains the biggest challenge ahead for both of them. Seemingly endless streams of networks have rolled out solutions to the scaling problem, but none have been entirely successful in their goals. The challenge lies in achieving all three aspects of the blockchain trilemma, which are decentralization, security, and scalability. Therefore, unlike other blockchains, Solana uses a hybrid consensus algorithm that combines proof of history with proof of stake, enabling the network to carry out up to 50,000 transactions per second. While it can theoretically handle up to 710,000 transactions per second, it still manages to handle 50,000 transactions per second on average in the main net. It is worth mentioning that the software is still considered to be in beta status and that Solana faced an outage after heavy bot traffic in September 2021. Let's quickly look into Solana's proof of history. Unlike Bitcoin, the Solana blockchain is not based on proof of work and is also not exactly a classic proof of stake blockchain either. It is powered by a mix between proof of stake and a new solution called proof of history. Proof of History introduces a cryptographic timestamp that enables every validator in the network to identify the correct order of transactions or events. It allows creating a historical record that proves that an event has happened. In effect, all nodes on the Solana blockchain can agree on the time in the network without the need to communicate and agree with each other on what time it is. Instead, each validator is required to run its own clock by constantly solving a SHA-256 based verifiable delay function. The nodes can agree on the time prior to consensus about the transactions, thus creating an environment that can handle more transactions than any other blockchain technology. It is important to highlight that proof of history is not a consensus mechanism from a technical standpoint, but it is critical to Solana's speed since it allows its proof-of-stake blockchain to scale better than many other blockchain technologies. If you are yet to like this video, kindly hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Furthermore, the trend around the crypto community is that, as soon as a blockchain is offering smart contract capabilities, the term Ethereum killer is somehow thrown around in the media. This has also been the case with Solana, 
and also many other platforms. However, there is no direct competition between both technologies but it is true that they both offer DeFi and NFT platforms. Before jumping into the tokenomics, let's discuss some key features on Solana. 1. Tower Byzantine Fault Tolerance Algorithm The BFT system is like a safety shield for the Solana ecosystem. It ensures that a particular node failure doesn't impact the working of the entire system. 2. Gulfstream Gulfstream is a system that puts an end to mempool needs. Mempool can be thought of as a waiting area where all the unprocessed transactions wait for their turn. Solana's network can manage a memory pool size of 100,000 transactions. 3. The sea level. Solana enables multiple smart contracts to run at the same time. This saves time and makes Solana a cost-efficient blockchain network. The technology which enables Solana to run multiple smart contracts at the same time is known as C-Level. 4. The Cloud Break Solana follows a horizontal scaling method. The horizontal scaling method enables Solana to increase its scalability. Cloud Break organizes a database that can read and write transaction input. Cloud Break is also responsible for establishing a connection between hardware and software. 5. The Turbine Solana divides different blockchain nodes in smaller packets. The main purpose of this process is to increase the speed of transactions. Smaller packets of information can be quickly validated. It also helps Solana to address issues related to bandwidth. Finally, let's look into Solana's tokenomics. SOL is the native token of the Solana network. It has two primary uses on the network. First, the token owners can use the tokens to stake to help secure the network. In return the stakers get inflation rewards. Secondly, token holders can also pay transaction fees for smart contracts on the network. Solana was maybe one of the most outstanding blockchain technologies in terms of price movement in the year 2021. With over 35,000% price increase from its all-time low in 2020, Solana is not only one of the top performing coins, but also in the top 10 according to its market cap. Solana has a total supply of about 508 million plus and a circulating supply of around 323 million with a market cap of $26 billion plus and at a current price of $81. Kindly note that we do not give a financial advice and it's better for you to do your own research before you invest your capital. However, the unique selling point of Solana is its speed and transaction throughput. Apparently, this has caught a lot of attention. Former First Lady Melania Trump and Justin Bieber are offering their NFTs on Solana and Michael Air Jordan has announced to start a platform built on Solana to connect athletes and their fans. Therefore there is still more to come from this project. I believe you should have learned a lot about Solana in this video, although we try not to bug you with so much technical stuffs, but we have covered all the important aspect of this project. Let us know what you think about Solana in the comments section, and don't hesitate to let us know what you will like us to discuss. Please like this video and help us grow this community by sharing it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell to get notified each time we post a video on our channel. See you next time.